Would you like to autofill some of your form fills with an Excel file? Well, let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard and we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new form so we can show you how to autofill your fields with an Excel file. So top left hand corner, we're going to create a form. I'm gonna do from scratch on the classic form. And over on the left hand side, we're gonna add form element and we're going to choose a widget and I'm gonna do a quick search for spreadsheet and we're gonna choose the spreadsheet to form widget. Now this is where we're going to add in our Excel file, but before we do that, let's go ahead and jump back over to our basic form elements and let's add in a few elements. Let's do name, we'll do short text and then email. And as you can see, we have the form fields have their name. So this one says name, this one says type of question, and then email has email. So we are going to wanna to ask for their age. So let's go ahead and type in age here. And we can see right up at the top with our widget, this is going to be that unique code. So let's go ahead and build out our spreadsheet to utilize to autofill our form fields. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over. And I've already started pre-populating my column headers. So we can see in column A, we have that unique code. We have name, age, and email. And these match exactly to the form fields in our form. They have to match exactly for this to work. So let's go ahead and do some unique codes. We're gonna do three people. So let's just do one, two, three as the unique code. And let's give them some names. And we can give them some ages. Let's do 38, 23, and 18. Let's give them an email. Perfect, so we have our unique code, we have their name, their age, and their email. So I'm gonna go up to the top left-hand corner under file. We're going to download as an Excel file. And let's go ahead and head back over to our form. We're going to choose that widget. And let's go ahead and upload that file. And next we're gonna choose that access code column. And for us, that's going to be that unique code, the one, two, or three. And we have some different options down here. If we would like to edit any of these, we can do that. But let's go ahead and give this a test. I'm gonna to go to the top right-hand corner to preview form. And let's do a number one in autocomplete fields. And we can see we have Lacey Smith, 38, at LaceyExample.com. We can jump back over. We can see number one is Lacey. So let's do number three. Number three is Catherine. We'll do three autocomplete and it automatically changes to Catherine. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use an Excel file to autofill your form fills, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.